Hey everybody, this is Joe, the Over 40 Model Maker, with a new video coming at you from my family room and my lovely table here in the middle, because I have a huge surprise, and I wouldn't say a surprise, but more of a idea. So we're going to do a Gundam series where it's unboxing and then building up to completion, just kind of like... Warhammer and things like that, but we're not going to do a high grade. We're not going to do real grade or a master grade or not even a perfect grade. That comes later. We are actually going to do, let me grab this here, the mega size. We are going to do the 148 Unicorn Gundam Destroy Mode, 452 millimeters. It was like 17 inches. So this is what we're going to do. So we are going to start off with an unboxing and taking a look at the pieces, things like that. Next videos are going to be like denubbing, sanding, uh, probably doing some gap fillers, things like that. We're going to make this look really, really good. And so that is going to be going over the entire month of February. So all my February videos are going to be just this. And they'll come out every every few days, things like that, or maybe once a week, things like that, depending on what I have for uh, things outside the home and an idea. So this is it right here. I saw this in my local, and you can probably hear the dog jumping by here in my local hobby store and I saw it and I picked it up right away. I didn't even think about it. And I just wanted to do this project. So, okay, enough rambling. Let's take a look at the box here. Here's the front. I mean, this, this box is huge. It's probably a good, I want to say... 17, 18 inches wide. So here we have, like we said, 452. And now we'll just go around the box. Now, if you, the one thing that I love about this particular model, and feel free to go ahead and uh, pause the video to read the English, is that there's English underneath the Japanese. I mean, that is just absolutely awesome. And there's water slide decals and all that stuff. Sorry, I should probably get it straight for you guys right there. All right, and then mega size. Let me tell you, this was the largest box in the hobby store. And yes, this thing is going to be huge. I will be putting on all the water slides and not skipping any of that. What I probably will end up doing, and I'll show you when I get to the bits and bobs of it all. And then there's all that right there. Okay, so here, that's the box right there. Set that off to the side. Now... I've already taken everything out of the box and taken them out of the bags and taken a look at, you know, quality of plastic and everything. And, you know, it's basically, it's a high grade shoved big. So when you open up the box, you get a ton of plastic, but actually the plastic is not that bad a quality. It's, you know, high grade plastic quality. And I mean, look at the size of these bean things. These things are, I would have to say a good foot long, one foot long. Well, okay, maybe 10 inches, maybe. Who knows, doesn't matter, it's big. But here is, the instruction booklet, which is in color. And again, there is English underneath all the Japanese. 
I love this. This is probably going to be the only, well, maybe except for my master grade that I just bought the other day, or not my master grade, my perfect grade, where I'm going to be keeping the instruction booklet. I mean, this is insane. So here is my idea. The white, we're going to leave alone. The blue, I will probably repaint that to either a jet gloss black, or I have a blue similar to this color, but it's very, like a very high gloss color. The red, let me grab this. The red effects here, keep those as is. I'm not doing LEDs. I'm not that talented enough to do LEDs. And then the inner frame parts, when I get those working or and connected, I think I'm going to paint those a chrome for the inner frame on it. So white's gonna stay the same. The inner parts here are gonna be chrome. The blue is gonna be like the dark blue. The reds are gonna stay the same. The V-fin, I mean, when you look at the V-fin, it's kind of like a... Uh, Mustard orange. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm probably going to maybe paint that a like a retributor gold color. Just to maybe pop it a little bit more. But you also get stickers for the head camera and eyes. And then you get a huge sheet, probably the same size as this, I believe, of just water decals to cover the whole thing. I mean, it's this is... For the money that I paid for this, which was, depending on location where you're at in the country, dirt cheap, this is definitely worth the money. So with that, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get started. I'm going to separate all the pieces by what part of the model they're on and then start doing videos based on that. So that's going to be over the next few days, things like that. So with that, stay tuned, come back often, like it, like the video, share it with people, subscribe, hit the ding bell, however you want to do it to get notifications of when the next video comes in so that we can go through this whole thing together because this is the biggest project I've ever done. And if I screw up, I screw up, but I want you to go ahead and laugh along with me. So with that, Thank you for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, you handsome man. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, you beautiful, beautiful woman. And we will go ahead and see you in the next episode for part two. Something with more of this. Take care. See you later. Goodbye.